Movie theater subscription service Movie Pass is hoping to provide a big jolt to the Hollywood box office. With Movie Pass, moviegoers can see a movie a day for 10 bucks a month, excluding IMAX and 3D screens. Joining us now, the founder and CEO of Movie Pass, Mitch Lowe, a co founder of Netflix and former president of Redbox, and also with us, Movie Pass majority stakeholder Ted Farnsworth. Welcome to you both. I want to go over this just a little bit, uh, Mitch how this works because I'm confounded because if I see more than one movie I, I, all of a sudden I'm paying less than I would normally pay to get in to see it in to see a movie to begin with yeah well you know the how over does the, this work well over the last 20 years the price of going to the movies has doubled uh, it's ridiculous yeah it's it's gone crazy and and all the other alternatives like Netflix and other services have dropped in price so it's 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 a real challenging uh, time however at the same time the in the decrease in people going to the movies is in the single digit to me that says and our research shows people want to go to the movies more often but these, all right. but many people grew up on subscription and so they want a different way to go well we buy a lot of things by subscription that's for sure Ted sure. but I know that AMC theaters one of these companies the biggest theater company in the in the in at least our country uh, is doesn't like this and Ted they're suing and they're suing uh, this company what do you say to that uh, does their argument hold water well you know it's 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 interesting because we've been dealing with that all day long and uh, AMC's not suing us it's they they put it out that they're talking to their lawyers, they're thinking about it. But, but, but they it, haven't actually filed suit? No, 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 no. No, they haven't filed suit. They're looking but the, for but they're a talking reason. About it. Sure, they're, they're talking about it. And, and, I, and I think... Because this ruins their business model, let's face it, right? I no, mean, no, this is the opposite. Because you're bringing, we're bringing people into the theater. So AMC should be embracing this like... But they're not. Some of the, but some of the big movie theaters out there are. Uh, so what's going on, though, uh, Mitch? Because, you know, people have so many options now. They can stay at home and watch yeah. a movie from... You know, the very comfortable couch sure. where you don't have to listen to the person <laughs> next to you on their cell phone. Right. Uh, why would I want to buy a subscription service? Well, you know, the, the creative community makes the movies to be seen on a big screen with yeah. great sound. And other people around you who are laughing or are afraid. And, you know, I, I sometimes if you watch, you see so many people watching a film now on a small screen. And they're just not getting the full effect that the creative community wanted. And the real, the way the ecosystem works the best is many people see it on the big screen, then they watch it on the smaller screens, and then they might buy it later. But it really, it's, it makes a healthier ecosystem when people see more of the films at, at right. all those venues. I, I guess as a, as a movie viewer, I don't worry about the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. I worry about, you know, my own experience and, and if I'm happy with it. Right. But, Ted, I think what you guys are saying is, like, like music on your iPhone, sure. Sure. it's not Spotify. as good of an experience right. as being in the movie theater where you get all the bells and Correct. whistles. Mm -hmm. you, you can't take away the big screen. There's no way. I mean, that was a vision I saw originally just talking to Mitch about getting people back to the theater. But it was the technology that we've developed along the way to take it to the next level. For us, with Movie Pass was just a, a no-brainer for doing a deal with them. And remember, 75% of our viewers with Movie Pass are millennials. Millennials have been leaving the theater in droves over the last several years. Huh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So quickly, how do you get the word out, I mean, besides being on this show, and I'm sure everybody else is going to go and buy this, but uh, how do you, uh, you know, get people involved in this? Well, the, you know, I've always been uh, fascinated by uh, delivering amazing value to consumers, and so when you, when you make an offer, if you've, you know, we have figured out a way to give people a deal they cannot believe we can even afford to give. Yeah, because you lose money. Yeah, no, we actually don't. Uh, How do you not lose money? <laughs> we have built a system that attracts people, a price point that attracts people to, that only go three to six times a year. When they become a Movie Pass <laughs> subscriber, they go to twice as many films but than they used to be before. But that's still not very many. But it, but it's, it's the majority of the United States goes less often than six times a year. There's 36 million people right. that go 18 times a year. So we built a, such an attractive price. Our customers are telling other people about the so service. So it's going to be word of mouth for you guys. Thanks so much, Mitch and yeah. Ted, for coming on Thank tonight. You so I much really for appreciate us. your time. Thank you.